Mm -hmm. So you were involved with 3D at the start of the station? Uh, <coughs> certainly his early days in um, <coughs> front of me, mate. Um, where are they? I'm near the Alma Hotel. Mm -hmm. And I got involved uh, with various things. I ended up uh, getting co presenting on a show called Osmosis. This was the mid to late 80s. Mm -hmm. That was the electronic music, avant garde, new age uh, mm -hmm. show. Mm -hmm. And it was a bit of a specialist music night before us, it was a new age show. We come on, and then right after us, this was the beginnings of the house music. And all these guys were bringing in all the turntables and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, there was Acid House and this house and that house. Yeah. Um, one of the guys that did the show, I think he's big involved, Rip It Up. Um, oh, I can't think of his name. I'll think of his name in a minute. But, uh, and always couldn't wait to get back to Adelaide to play all this stuff on the show, you know. I had a big bag of stuff to play, so that was really good. That was on every week for a long time. Mm -hmm. And people knew me through that show. Mm -hmm. They used to sort of <clears throat> get their cassette players ready, blank tape, and just tape the show. <laughs> you yeah. know, so that was, that was a really good time. I dare say, we'd still be doing it, but my mate, uh, he did the, we, uh, Neil, who's now living, been living in Melbourne all the time, we, um, we got on really well. And, he just decided to move to Melbourne to live. I dare say he's still an adult, we'd probably still be doing it. Mm. Yeah. That was really good. It was, um, yeah, so that was good times there. Mm. That's a good thing about that station, not many others do. I don't, I don't know, don't know much what other stations are doing, but 3D is really good for the specialist shows, particularly. Mm. You think, you know, you, you get into all this New stuff, and then I meet someone like Rick, and he's playing some psych, you know, American psych I never heard of, and mm. you know, I sort of got back into all that rock because I was into electronics. I mentioned earlier the Warp label, Born mm. of Canada, Orteca, yeah. people like that. Mm. I don't know if you're very familiar with that stuff, yeah. but <clears throat> that was really big with the mm. alternative crowd, mm. the Warp label, mm -hmm. Cranky label. I think you did mention a bit of kraut rock before with yeah, Faust yeah. and Can. Yeah, yeah, you could find them. I used to go to raise records at the time, and there's a second Faust, number four, Can, and a few others. Uh, Astro mm -hmm. Temple was another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, but I made over there, as I was saying earlier. You know, he was mainly a hard rock metal man. Mm -hmm. Through the Vertigo label, we started to fish out all the other stuff, the one offs. Mm. <clears throat> but he got to like, maybe it's a bit of a quiet taste, I don't know. The progressive stuff, the mm -hmm. weird folk, or jazz, you know. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot to know, a lot to um, find out about, that's for sure. And what was your mate's name? Uh, Bob. And what's the best thing about uh, <coughs> music in Adelaide? What, the local-wise or well, the bands coming here? Or? What's the best thing about living in Adelaide, as far as you're concerned? Oh, Adelaide's easy to get around. I think it's a good, mm. <coughs> very, very good standard of living. I don't know why people mm. complain, but anyway, there you go. And you're into the footy? Yeah. Who do you, who do you, who do you uh, watch? I've always followed, like... Well, the VFL side of many years ago was Richmond, so... Yeah. How do you follow in the local? Oh, uh, <clears throat> they moved the Woodville West Torrance. Yeah. Were you a Pecker man or a... Uh, Eagles. Yeah. You're an Eagles man. I remember going to see the Peckers, you know, I felt bizarre. <laughs> getting done by 20 goals. Or let them kick a few goals. <laughs> but it was, um, anyway, <clears throat> the good Peckers. They used to have a Pecker Hill, probably still there, like mm. the northern side, you know? Yeah. So they'd give them a bit of joy, they'd kick a few goals. Mm -hmm. It was sort of quaint, really. Yeah. Yeah. Do you miss <clears> those days? Do you think the competition was better with the Peckers? Oh. Well, being a West Torrens man, it was probably better with the Peckers, but... 
Well, that hurt West Highlands because it took a lot of their area away. Mm. In that, that regard. But, Many. Yeah, mm. but, uh, there's so many on the western side of town. Mm. Oh, it's all a bit of fun. It's entertainment, isn't it? I, don't, mm. I mean, you still get a lot of people that take it too seriously, but mm. maybe they haven't got a life mm. tonight. Who knows? And can I ask, how old are you? Be 48 this year. <clears throat> no, LA's a pretty good place to live. Been here all my life, so I was almost going to move to Melbourne. Really like Melbourne as a city, and I think oh, mm. I think the people are more outgoing and a bit more, um, in my experience, and I've been mm. here many times. Mm. Very positive and very enthusiastic about stuff. Mm. You know. <clears throat> How does the city like compare? More friendly, really. You know, you can get talking to people on the trains, and yeah. you know. That sort of thing. Sometimes I used to come back to Adelaide and think, where is everybody, you know? Mm. I've got their head down like this, you know? <laughs> Looking a bit sort of <laughs> reserved, mm. you know, self-conscious. So what makes you happiest in life? Oh, um, free time, freedom, mm. good health, good friends. I mean, just, just being... I'm lucky I've had the time to do things that I wanted to do and be independent. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, certainly positivity and just light-hearted, just enjoy life. I mean, you know, what can I say? I probably sound like cliches in a way. Have you enjoyed life? Oh, yeah. yeah. Can't complain too much. Yeah. Not at all. No, yeah. 